Hey, what's up YouTube? Here we are again with another Cichlid Bros video. Um, but today, we are going to focus on water clarity. And as you can see, the tank is not quite clear right now because it is fresh off a of water change and with some products in that we are happy to show you and discuss with you later in the video. I just wanted to get you kind of a before shot of what the tank looks like now. And in the later part of the video, we will show you the finished product. The clear, clean tank and discuss how we got there. So, today we're just going to talk about how we got there. Um, how we got the tank as clear as we have um, and some tips and tricks and things we like um, and things that we've learned so um, first of all you know the obvious is water changes we keep up with our water changes usually twice weekly at about 50 percent you can probably get away with a little less but I would not change any less than 50% of the water once a week. Um, it's a big deal. Got to keep your parameters in check. Have a test kit. Um, as soon as your parameters get out of, out of whack, you know, you can start dealing with some cloudiness issues. Um, anytime you have too much leftover food waste, um, fish waste, um, that's, you know, one of the biggest culprits of uh, cloudy water and you can clean the tank like I did yesterday and still find uh, a bunch of crap in the water. Um, so that brings me to my next point um, that it is very important to have a lot of circulation in your tank. Okay, um, you know you can have a great canister filter whatever um, with a lot of space for media but if you don't have a strong current to get the waste to the filter then you know it's pointless so um, for me I know the AquaClear 110 I have over here is one of the strongest currents in the market for filter media or filters I should say um, it is 500 gallons an hour of intake speed okay um, as long as you keep it clean and then I have a AquaClear 70 on this side you know I think a AquaClear 110 is fine for a 55 gallon um, just with the how much media you can fit and the gallons per hour but um, I started to see a little bit of a dead spot where um, waste would accumulate in this back corner as you can see, it's not there now accumulating because I put in the AquaClear 70 here. Um, also, to help with circulation, I got my two wave makers, my Hydro Coralia right here. That's at 850, I believe, miles, gallons per hour. And then we have a little Sun Sun that I believe is 500 gallons per hour. So I mainly use it for surface agitation, but it also adds a lot to the flow and current of the tank, which the fish enjoy as well. Um, I know American cichlids might not like the flow quite as much, but you know, as long as you keep them up close to the surface of the tank, I don't think it makes it too hard for the slow swimming fish. Um, alongside that is, I believe, uh, filter media. Um, my filter media in my 110, I mainly just use mechanical filtration. Um, sponges, I've used polyfill, um, filter floss, things like that. In my AquaClear 70, I have nothing but biological media. I love Seachem Matrix. It really helps get rid of my nitrates. So back to my 110 filtration media. Um, things I've tried, things I like, things I don't. Um, the polyfill 
uh, really did seem to floss my water pretty well, but it was a pain um, when I'm cleaning out my filter. So I've kind of stuck to just the basic sponges and I use a um, chemical that kind of helps with the size of the waste. Sometimes the waste can be microscopic and I use Seachem Clarity, which you put it in and it kind of clouds up your tank a little bit. You might freak out and what it is doing is it is binding the microscopic waste together, making it bigger, easier for the sponges to take in. And since I have all my sponges in one filter, it kind of makes filter maintenance a little easier. I can clean it as much as I want and not affect the biological media in my AC70. So clarity clumps together the, the waste, makes it bigger for the sponge to take. I clean out my sponges once a week and that really helps get rid of the waste. Um, yeah, I, I really like clarity. It, it really, um, that is why my tank was um, cloudy in the beginning portion of the video. My tank is not normally that cloudy um, before a change. That was after I added the clarity to the tank. So um, this is the finished product after clarity. I do think I need to mention um, cleaning the inside of the glass is a huge deal. Um, keeping your light closer to the front of your tank is a big deal. Um, it just, you know, to the eye it makes everything look more clear inside. If you don't keep up with those things like cleaning the inside of your glass, then doesn't matter how clear your water is, it's going to look murky. Um, a lot of people are scared to clean the outside of the glass of their tank. Look, I have a glass canopy and a wood canopy on top of my tank. So to me, spraying a, a rag or a paper towel with Windex and wiping um, my glass down on the outside once in a while, I think it's fine. As long as you don't let the spray get into the tank, which would put ammonia in the tank, you should be fine. So um, those are my tips and tricks. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment. And as always, uh, please like and subscribe. See you next time.